I'm going to show you how the IOYO camera uh, captures images. If you guys are interested, it's a less expensive option than the AquaView. Um, so far, I've, I've actually really liked it. The uh, disadvantages are that it's bulky and uh, it is a little uh, antiquated, but for the most part, it seems to work very well and I love using it. I picked this up two years ago. I think it's an awesome little camera. So basically, uh, you hit the power switch, it turns on, the camera um, works pretty well. As you can see, you can, well, that's upside down. So it'll go like that. You can see us, hi. You can record, hit the record button. It shows record up here. I don't know how well you can see that, but, uh, and then to stop recording, you hit exit. And when you want to play your stuff, this is our recording we just made. Pretty sweet. Hit exit, we're back into the camera. Uh, it also has the ability to do, oh, it's already in infrared. So if you want to turn off the infrared, you just unplug this, turn on like that. You can adjust the uh, brightness. You don't, generally you don't want it very bright because it'll pick up all the little critters in the water and you can't really see. But, uh, and then it also, right up here, you can put in a micro SD card so that you you can record. I've been very happy with this camera. It's super durable. I mean, it's been through some stuff. And so if you do get a camera, the other thing you're gonna need is a tripod. Now the tripod sits over your hole. And basically uh, with this type, they also have electronic ones as well, but this is a manual. And so basically with this type, is you set your camera to your depth and you take your little stopper just like that, and that sits at your depth. And then to turn the image, oh, I should use the other hand so that you can see the camera. You just spin this around so that uh, you can look around. And that's it. So, that being said, on with the show.